experts are observing the remainder of Iceberg A68A, which has shattered into four city-sized chunks according to the U.S. National Ice Center. The main iceberg, which is still 2,606 square kilometers, or about 1,000 square miles large, is now floating away from the island of South Georgia. Iceberg A68A was one of the largest icebergs ever recorded in the satellite record when it broke off from the Larsen Sea ice shelf in Antarctica in July of 2017. The massive iceberg was drifting dangerously close to the British overseas island this past month. Satellite images from the Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission and NASA's MODIS show A68D had broken off from the northernmost section of the main iceberg in mid-December. It has remained close to South Georgia, possibly because it hit a shallow seabed. A68D has an area of 144 square kilometers, or 54 square miles. On Tuesday, December 22nd, two new icebergs, called A68E and A68F, calved from A68A. A68E measures 655 square kilometers, or 252 square miles in size. A68F is smaller at 255 square kilometers, or 86 square miles in size, more than twice the size of Paris. The BBC reports that scientists are monitoring the iceberg to see if it gets stuck in the shallow waters off South Georgia. If this happens, it could threaten local wildlife by increasing the distance animals like seals and penguins have to travel to forage for food. Ongoing analysis shows that the keel of the iceberg, which was already considered thin for its size when it formed in 2017, has been growing even thinner, which possibly has facilitated the breakup. When it calved from Antarctica, the keel had an average thickness of 232 meters, or 760 feet, with the deepest section measuring 285 meters, about 935 feet. It is now around 32 meters, or 105 feet, thinner on average. If you missed our previous reports tracking the movement of Iceberg A68, you can catch them here now. A massive iceberg that broke off from Antarctica in 2017 is on a collision course with a smaller British overseas island. And that's not good for all of the cute, fluffy seals and penguins who live there. Here is what you need to know. The world's biggest iceberg is headed straight toward an island in the South Atlantic and has the potential to cause significant damage to wildlife should it become grounded nearby. Based on currents and weather conditions, the iceberg, designated A68A, is poised to hit the island of South Georgia this month, according to the Royal Navy. South Georgia is a wildlife haven and part of the UK overseas territory of South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands. It is located in the remote Southern Atlantic Ocean about 800 miles, or more than 1,000 kilometers southeast of the Falkland Islands. Iceberg A86A is roughly the size of Delaware, while South Georgia is roughly the size of Rhode Island. The BBC reports that because the iceberg is relatively thin, its cliffs rise 30 meters above the surface, while its keel is estimated to be only 200 meters deep. There is a danger it could become grounded just offshore, taking possibly 10 years to melt. This would devastate the local ecosystem as it would force animals such as king penguins and elephant seals to travel much greater distances to find food. The iceberg would also crush wildlife on the seafloor where it parks, causing damage that would take a long time for the ecosystem to bounce back from. But it's not all bad news, according to the British Antarctic Survey. Once the iceberg melts, it will release nutrients from atmospheric dust and volcanic eruptions that have accumulated over thousands of years. This will fertilize ocean plankton in the area, and this boost will then rise up the food chain to krill and larger animals. According to the BBC, when Mega Iceberg A38 got stuck off South Georgia in 2003 and 2004, countless dead seal pups and penguin chicks littered its beaches. When we last covered Iceberg A86A, back when it had just lost a large chunk called A68B, experts predicted that it would break up once it was this far from Antarctica. And that still remains a possibility. It looks like the beginning of the end for the world's largest iceberg. New satellite images show Iceberg A68 lost a 175 square kilometer chunk of ice, which will likely be called Iceberg A68C, between satellite passes on April 21st and April 22nd. When it first calved from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf, Iceberg A68 was nearly 6,000 square kilometers in size, according to images from the Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission. Today, it is around 5,000 square kilometers, that's almost four times the size of Greater London, or roughly half the size of the islands of Hawaii or Cyprus. The giant chunk of ice is 160 kilometers long, but only a couple of hundred meters thick, making it remarkably thin for an iceberg of its size. Iceberg A68 broke off from the Larsen Ice Shelf in July of 2017, losing a small piece called Iceberg A68B shortly after it calved. 
Iceberg A68 then remained largely intact for three years as it drifted past the Antarctic Peninsula in the Weddell Sea. Currents in the Southern Ocean are now pushing the iceberg past the South Orkney Islands. As it drifts into warmer waters, it is expected to fragment into smaller ice blocks, many of which could last for years among the ice surrounding Antarctica. Iceberg A68 is the sixth largest iceberg ever recorded by a satellite. Iceberg B15, which was 11,000 square kilometers when it called from the Ross Ice Shelf in 2000, is the largest in the satellite record. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.